in terms of mics, Samson, obviously, always. Two Q8s on the snare, one on the top, one on the bottom. Four cute toms on the toms. See, they make it really simple. I mean, name it stuff like cute tom and cute kick, so you don't have to get confused. So, cute toms on all the toms, and then the cute kick on the kick. Got two CO1s as overheads, which sound amazing. I've used them to track vocals and acoustic guitar, pretty much uh, anything that I've tried recording it with has sounded amazing. So, I love, love, love these mics. I've used them for many things. And then I've got five CO2s that I use all across the kit. So I've got one on the ride, underneath the ride, to get kind of the bell sound, a little bit more pronounced bell sound. I've got another one on the splash and the stack, and then I've got another one on the hats and this stack. Two spaced room mics, far right and far left, and then I just added some reverb and um, made it sound a little bit bigger, but I'll, I'll get to that a bit later. Then for cameras, I used GoPros. All GoPros for the first time ever. Big ups to GoPro for hooking me up with some cameras. Um, incredible experience. Smooth, fluid, uh, so comfortable to shoot with GoPros. I feel like they were made for this, <laughs> which is maybe why it was so comfortable. Um, they sent me 10 cameras. I used nine. Uh, the nine angles are overhead, left back, right back, left front, right front, left close, right close, front angle and the foot cam. Uh, I was going to use the 10th angle to be a chesty uh, to give kind of the first person view of playing the drums but it looked kind of strange having these two noodly arms playing the drums. Uh, the perspective was a little bit low so I opted to just rather use the nine angles around the kit. I felt like I had enough coverage. I shot at 1080p 24 frames a second. The workflow in terms of editing and everything was really seamless so big ups to GoPro for hooking me up and helping me out. It means a lot and it definitely smoothed things over and made things a lot easier so then in terms of lights, I use just normal halogen lights. I've got five of these, two in the front, two in the back, and one kind of low on the foot and to illuminate the, the lower part of the kit. Halogen, these bulbs especially, they've got a temperature, color temperature that's really close to daylight, which is really cool because obviously we know that GoPros are kind of uh, custom built for like extreme sports and stuff like that, which usually happens in daylight. So I think um, having that clarity from the halogen light made a really big difference in terms of clearing up the image, especially with the black background. So that also made a huge difference, specifically with these GoPros being so red. So yeah, it's pretty much everything on this side of the room. Next up, interface. Uh, I'm gonna have to keep this really short because I'm very excited about this, but this is my first time using uh, USB interfaces. This time around, I used the uh, AudioBox 1818 VSL from PreSonus, it's my main interface. And then just to add some preamps to the mix, I also used a Digimax D8 obviously also PreSonus. And uh, I definitely think that I'll be using the AudioBox 1818 VSL paired with the Digimax D8 for a really, really long time. Really stable, uh, super comfortable. I didn't have to worry about a thing. It just took such a load off of my mind in terms of recording because I knew I could depend on it. Um, and it makes a big difference. And it's super affordable. That's a really big thing. Like you guys know, that's a very big part of why I feel comfortable uh, telling you guys about the equipment that I use is because I feel like I'm giving good advice. So with these two interfaces, I can do 16 tracks of multi-track recording. And I think it works out to about $55 per track, uh, which is crazy. Like if you know anything about professional pro-grade recording, paying 55 bucks per track of multi-track recording is a joke. Definitely check out the, the audio box specifically. It's amazing. Then the laptop, beast of a laptop. It's a MythLogic NYX 1712 unbelievable laptop. Uh, it's built by a company called MythLogic, like I said, and they build custom-made laptops, so whatever you want, they can pretty much build it for you. This thing has been unreal. I've never used any computer that is this fast um, and this stable before, not even a desktop. So really, really, really excited about using it for production and for gaming. To be perfectly honest with you, it's, it's really a beast of a machine. But um, yeah, some of the specs on this thing. It's got a 17.3 inch full HD screen, Intel Core i7 3920XM 2.9 gigahertz processor, 16 gigs of RAM, NVIDIA 680M graphics card. My main hard drive is a 256 gigabyte MSATA solid state drive. Then I've got two more drives. They're both the same and they are 750 gig solid state hybrid drives. And then I use Windows 7 professional edition. 64 bit. A lot of the Mac guys are shaking their head going, why do you use PC? Well, um, I really dig PCs. I'm a PC guy. Plus, I'm a gamer. So, 
kind of sways me in the direction of PCs. Um, plus PCs are a lot more affordable and um, better for gaming and more stable and more beautiful and just better in general. Now watch the comment section just go crazy. People losing their minds. But yeah, I love the setup. I love using Windows and Cubase to do the, the um, audio recording and mixing side of things. The interfaces work really, really well. This is definitely the most stable setup I've ever used. I very rarely had to worry, well, I never had to worry about uh, audio dropping out or, or something freezing or losing um, data or losing tracks. Uh, really seamless, stable experience all the way through, which was amazing. Usually I, I kind of had to worry about that, but not this time around.